Hey there, everyone. This is Alcaling near Automata, and man, <laughs> boy's very terrible. That day is somehow getting worse. So now he's injured to the point of not being able to sword, but it's kind of funny because that is following the soul box, the dungeon where you do not actually fight, but you do a whole bunch of little like hacking challenges. Uh, but someone in the comments suggested that maybe Pod is pretending he just kind of shut it off to- Oh, I love how even this is quirking out. I don't know, I meant to go to transport, but that's fine. Like, like maybe they did that on purpose, just to force Boy to take some rest. That'd be pretty smart. I don't know if Pod is smart enough to do that. Like, like, like we've seen it before, Pod is, takes commands very literally. Like the machine lifeforms, it's not really supposed to be able to, like, get new ideas and iterate on them. But here we are. We're supposed to meet the twins. So how- oh, here's the twins. Oh, yep. dear. <laughs> what Wounded in battle. NFCS not functioning. I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. This is gonna take a bit, so just hang tight. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. Yay! Wait, that's it? That's all it takes? Alright, you're all good. Well, that was... I don't have the ability to Nine talk asked, to you. I need you to promise me something. Don't die alone. <laughs> I don't think 2B would want that either. I know. Well, that was shockingly nothing. Well, are you gonna do your funeral or whatever at some point, buddy? Maybe. I still don't have pure water. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know where to find pure water. No such thing as pure water. No such thing. So, yeah, um... This whole getting healed thing was pretty quick. Alright, I gotta... Oh, mark the next resource recovery. Oh, there's more! Affirmative. Well, let's go step by Mazamune first. I'm gonna try and upgrade all the weapons that I can. Can you stop just putting that big old box in front of the door all the time? Alright, Fate, which is like right here. Alright, can I get that level 3? I can! It has Bullet Absorbed. Sweet! Beast Bane. Might as well give it a shot. It has Beast Roar. Ancient Overlord is a funny name. Bullet Rupture. Well, there's the last meteorite. Phoenix Dagger. I don't got the pearls needed. Interesting. I can boost up uh, Cruel Oath, which is the sword you started with. There's just a regular Yora Isha Blade, which is a funny... I don't know, it's a funny concept to me. It's just like, Pod Charge? Pod Charge. Here's the Machine Sword. Oh, I don't got a Dented Sockets, unfortunately. You can get a level higher, and I can get you to all the way... Oh, that's a big sword, isn't it? Great! Yeah, and I'm missing more for a lot of these. Understandable. Alright, Fate, what's your deal? You can heal by cutting projectiles. Oh, I love how small its range of damage is. What's your story, Fate? 
In the capital of a distant eastern land, there lived a poet who was devoted to his art, but his swords failed to touch the hearts of the people, and he could make no profit from them. Soon his life became unbearably hard. Devoted, but he's, he's not good at it. Attack, speed up. Seeing the limit of his talent, the poet chose to bet the pen and work the land instead. Soon his lily white skin began to grow dark, and his once frail body became sinewy and rough. He eventually married a kind woman, and several years later, they had a child. As the peaceful, uneventful day went on, the man began to feel that there could be no greater happiness in life. Or so the poet wrote before he put down his pen, swallowed the paper hole, and prayed that the next life might turn out so well. He then took fate, already stained with the blood of another, and plunged it deep into his chest. That's funny! Oh, that's just funny. Yeah, I honestly, I feel like fate is... Makes a lot of sense for you, boy. Alright, Beast Bane. Beast Roar. Is Beast Roar... Yeah, so Beast Lord has like these waves. So I guess that's Beast, so he can have waves on a short sword. Interesting. Once upon a time, there was three princesses. The middle princess wasn't very bright, but was renowned by all as a great beauty. When she came of age, she was married off to the king of a neighboring nation. The neighboring king adored his new wife and treasured her looks above all else. He gave the middle princess six new dresses and eight fresh flowers every day that's that's a lot and his love caused her beauty to shine all the more the middle princess did all she could to remain beautiful for her king but she knew time would eventually catch up with her as it did for all so after much hard thought she developed a cunning plan the middle princess had herself stuffed and mounted so she could remain beautiful for all time the king wept joyful tears at the sight but, alas, two years later, war broke out, and her body was crushed under the rubble of the castle. <laughs> That's so... Wow! <laughs> Just... All the best ideas. Cruel Lord is on in the main attempt to tame immortality. Eh, fun. One day, a young girl's village was sagged by bandits. To protect her family, she took up a dagger her father had found in the mountain and killed one of them. An act that shocked her family. But the bandits fled, never to return. Five years passed, then ten, then twenty. Though the family she protected began to grow old, the girl never aged. Eventually, the other villagers began to shun her. With no one to turn to, she finally left her village and began to wander the earth visiting many strange lands in the process. As the years passed, her skill and fame as a master sword fighter grew to legend. Eternal life, a powerful weapon, and boundless experience. She used these talents to become queen of a nation. And yet, there was emptiness in her life, for she still desired the kindness her family denied her after that fateful day. That's just sad. It's not even funny sad. It's just sad. Holy blessing, what's that? Oh, right. Do more when you're full. Whoa. No, wait, is that... Yeah, that's small sword. I already did you. Sorry. Cruel Oath, though. That's new. That's the one. Oh, you need to be weak. Oh, that sound, that's a terrible idea. Once long ago, there was a group of seven boys who were born in the same village. Though they were not brothers by blood, they treated each other as family. One cold night, a fortune teller appeared and warned of a traitor among them. The boys laughed it off and went about their business. But the next morning, one of them lay dead. With each passing night, another boy died. The survivors grew more and more suspicious of each other, each harboring terrible doubts about what happened to their brothers. On the morning of the seventh day, a single survivor stood tall. Cleaning the blood from his hands, he chuckled to himself. Better go find that traitor! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, I remember listening to the first one. Morning, listeners. It's time to kick off another installment of Listener Letters with your favorite radio idol, DJ24D. 
Let's get this day started, right? Shall we? Defender, I guess? How's it going, listeners? Yeah, I know. We're also thinking about that cleanup operation yesterday, right? We may have lost a lot of good people, but it's still our job to get up and at them, right? Howdy, listeners. Your favorite radio idol, DJ24D, has been receiving many letters lately. Don't you like me anymore? Ha! <laughs> or maybe no one's even listening. Wee-hee-hee. <laughs> Anyways, who's ready to kick things off? Hello? Is anyone there? Is this thing even on? It's me, radio listener 24D. I'm an idol, remember? An idol, 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 an idol. Yeah, so some of these now make a lot more sense knowing they share DNA with a certain. certain something. Uh, Iron Will, Fang, Beast Lord, I know all of you very well. You're. whoops, press wrong button. Oh no. Richard's Treaty, I just upgraded. Your height number is really high. Large sword. And my HP is full. I might consider that for my heavy, honestly. I don't know. Oh, I love how this is done. Like, this feels like poetry written by a machine. And it's really cool. Like, there's not a whole lot more to add. It's just really cool. Uh, you I did see before, right? Yeah, the four owners. Alright. Those were the local stories. Yeah, do I want to give you the big sword? Uh... You have a higher minimum. Beast Lord has my highest minimum. And Iron Will has my highest maximum, so. Mm. Nope. Alright, where are we going exactly? Over here in the amusement park? Yeah. Oh, that's in the. Um that place you know that place the uh the theater right should pop in a save all right in the zombie infested uh, version of you Yeah, I'm not used to sword fighting. I just think that the store Vengeance plus five for free, just like that, okay. I just think that the sword story is very relevant. I sure am. Speak in your language. You're just dead. Used to. Oh. Yeah, this is all like missed. Oh, it grew Hello. through it. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Over and over. Yeah, it is a bit repetitive, isn't it? So. Yeah, like, I don't know if it landed from above and crushed it or rose from the water and anti-crushed it. Either way. That language again. This reads God Box. God Box. What are these machines doing talking about gods? What are you doing talking about gods? I mean, I guess you weren't, so fair enough. I never noticed Pa, like, pops its head up to do this scan. That's fun. Well, do the God Box. <laughs> well, I wonder if there's going to be one of these in the desert too. Oh, wait, I'm switching. Green. Normal. System check. Oh. Good. Why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal. 
Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> was that large structural unit of machine life or origin activated to the east a large what now what the heck is going on around here unknown well let's go check out this large structural unit so we get to go clubbing with her huh okay that's that's a little bit more exciting I still have yeah, double big. Might as well pop a save before I regret anything. What? <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I guess it was expecting me to hoof it there. That was Alert. very abrupt. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up. Negative. <laughs> this support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, what's going on here? Got a thousand... Yeah, but... Fighting in the dark! See, now they're level 50. Alright. These are relatively serious fights, maybe? Let's treat it with the seriousness that it wants. Go, just, yep. Yeah. Oh man, you are being very annoying. I'm just gonna clean you. Is it? Alright. If it's, it's our, if they're all like these guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and blast them. Ooh, so if you hold and you let go, you do like that hidden missile Doctor Doom move. Oh, that is real good. Oh man, so I'm missing out on like the Gatling gun. I just can't find pure water. This does not exist. I'm sorry. Okay, well, that just happened. Oh, there's more. Don't worry about it. I love fighting in the dark in this game. It just looks so pretty. Like, fighting in the smooth would feel bad, but in this game, it's just such a visual tree. Okay, what are you here? I think it's important that boy and woman use different weapons because while I accept that they're just for the sake of gameplay, you know, uh, they share an inventory, I get it. I respect that. But it would, sh like, it's important for me that they wield different weapons because that, I just... Otherwise, not my my sense of disbelief just can only take that much, I guess. Alright, you're being like super annoying. You need to get you in the air. I could just hack him. I could. Clearly, I'm not doing that though. So there we go. One of the god rooms. I'm gonna take the elevator. Wow. Free elevator ride. Hello. Ugh. No. I want to jump, and then yeah, then you do that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's, it's like a beautiful mess. Oh, I tried to switch the sword, and I did actually. My attempt was successful. Yeah, sword is fantastic when you're underground or when you're surrounded. You want to use little sword for these situations. 
So, buddy, thought you would stay hidden from me? Well, you were almost correct. See, here, I think you want to, like, do that, then you go back to the bush, and have nothing. It's the best. Okay. Alright, we got, we got a little guys running around, you know. Doing their best. Hijack boost plus four. Oh boy. Too bad. There's a hard limit of nine before it stops doing anything. Making it very hard to be excited about that. Uh, you're almost dead. Now you are. I should probably change the camera to actually see who am I attacking. Yeah, that's happening. There you go. Through the boxes. We don't need to be near the actual box. Only fools need that. Alright. There's a quick cup here. Now it is fine. Machine arm. I know where I can buy those from the store. It's pretty great. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, check it out, you're dead now. I don't think you can check something like that, but give it a try. Oh no, you just died. I said you just died. You look like a fool here. All right, anything else? Someone just appeared at the middle. Oh no, it's a worm. I'm not messing around with a stupid worm, even if it has a gun face. I just don't mess around with worms. Worms just feel bad to fight. Advanced worm technology, great. Stay away. I'm not interested. I will take your parts, but that's it. Unit that has been updated. Alright. Love that unit data. Love to update it. It's another complex boxy room that even rotates. Alright. Alright, so lots of flying enemies. Always a good time. So now I don't want to just hold it. I want to, like, press and release it. I mean, I don't know if it's doing great. But, it's fun. We get to see a lot of explosions. That's just true. And I can do that anytime and just get in someone's face. Did I die? How did I die? How did I die?